Hi, <clears throat> this is Professor Gerald Friedman, and we're here today to talk about financial markets. This is actually the first of three uh, presentations that we'll be doing on financial markets. Today, we're talking about risk, uncertainty, and value, expected value and present value. Now, financial markets trade in promises. I will give you something tomorrow if you give me money today. Sometimes those promises come in the form of bonds. Here we have a U.S. Treasury bond for, that promises to pay $50 at some point in the future. In exchange for this promise that the U.S. government will give you $50 in the future, you give them a certain amount of money today. Well, technically, this is a patriot bond. Sounds like it's something left over from World War II, um, but it actually was issued uh, relatively recently. Um, companies issue bonds. Companies also issue stocks. This is for PepsiCo, Pepsi. It makes your life better. Um, this stock is a promise that the Pepsi company will give you a share of their profits. The bonds have a relatively safe amount of money, unless the U.S. government goes bankrupt or a company that issues a bond defaults um, by going into bankruptcy. You're going to get your money in the future, but you'll get your money. Pepsi is, the stock in Pepsi is less certain. There's risk because the company may not have any profits, in which case you will get nothing. People want cash. You don't want promises. You don't want future this, that, whatever. You want money to buy stuff. Cash has all sorts of advantages. It doesn't lose value. It is safe because it's cash. You can use it right now to buy things. You can turn, easily turn cash into other things. Couches, iTunes, music, um, food for your dog, clothes, whatever. Tuition. It is liquid. Cash is the definition of liquidity. Because you can turn cash into anything. Now, that's not true of all cash. You could have, for example... Um, euros. And if you're in the United States, they're not so liquid. They're pretty liquid. You could use your euros to buy dollars and then buy, but you have an extra step. Or you could have um, Confederate cash from the Civil War era. That is a lot less liquid because you can't trade it for anything. Um, so cash isn't necessarily liquid, but U.S. dollars are highly liquid. Bonds, almost as safe as cash, but they're less liquid. Stocks are even less safe, although they do have an upside possibility if the company does very well. If you bought Apple stock 15 years ago, you're very happy today. Now, we're willing to exchange liquidity for money for interest. You're willing to sell the liquidity that your cash has. That's what you do when you buy a bond. You're selling your cash in exchange for a promise of money in the future, of cash in the future. Cash now for cash then. You are willing to do that only if they give you more money in the future for the money you're giving up now. The present value of money next year is this formula, PV, present value, equals money next year divided by 1 plus the interest rate. The interest rate, R. How much is your interest rate? Depends on who you are and how you're feeling and what the economy is like. You may have a very high interest rate. This line shows the value of cash going forward into the future at an interest rate of 8%. This line shows the value at 0.5%. Clearly, it depends on the interest rate that you choose. 
Now, jam tomorrow is worth less than jam today. You want your cash now, and if they promise you the same amount of cash tomorrow, you'll say, forget it. I'll just hold on to my cash. We value today more. Maybe we think we may die. Or else, there's just risk and uncertainty. So you just, if all things are equal, you'd rather just have your jam. Two things go into this rate of discount, your interest rate your rate of time discount. How much do we prefer ourselves to our future selves? Well, if you think you may die, then you much prefer yourself today. There's also the risk of failure. You are concerned that anything you put your cash into, bonds, stocks, tickets on the Titanic, anything you put your cash into may fail, in which case you'll lose it. So those are the two things that go into determining your interest rate, your rate of discount. The higher your time discount, the greater the risk of failure you anticipate. The more money you want tomorrow, to risk. Maybe your boat will sink. Maybe your corn will grow, or maybe it won't. You could take your cash, turn it into corn seeds, plant a crop of corn. That's like having a stock in your corn with where maybe you hold 100% of the stock, and you own everything. Um, but if it doesn't grow, you are screwed. You know some probability, or at least you guess, the probability that your corn will actually grow. If you know this, you take this, and you calculate an expected value. How much is your care, is your corn worth? Given that there's a chance that it will fail, 1 minus your expected probability of success, and a chance that it will succeed. The weighted average of these, where the weights are the probability of success, um, gives you the expected value of your investment in corn. High probability of success or high value if successful gives you a big expected value. The greater the risk of failure, the lower the expected value. If along here we have the risk of failure, the expected value falls with greater risk of failure. The greater the risk of failure, the more money you will want to get a certain expected value. You will insist on a higher value of the crop before investing a certain sum in it if the risk of failure is greater. So you will invest in something, you might invest in something of very, very low probability of success. The probability that you'll find oil on the campus of the University of Massachusetts is very low. But if oil is worth enough, you might actually put $100 into it. Yeah. Um, even at a very low probability of success, investments can be a good idea if the payoff is big enough. That's what venture capitalists are thinking. They'll throw money at something. If they lose, they lose. But if they win, they may get a really big payout. And that's what makes it worthwhile. Thank you very much.